All right, so moving on to the next segment. I'll be sharing my fight prediction for this weekend's fight taking place in the sport of boxing between Jamal Charlo and Jose Benavidez. So we will finally see the return of Jamal Charlo and the boxing ring. He will be back in be back in the ring for the first time in his boxing career since the summer of 2021. His two and a half year hiatus will end tomorrow night in the sport of boxing when he takes on Jose Benavidez and the co-main event of David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andrade. Like I just said in the last segment, this card is stacked from top to bottom. They did a really good Showtime Boxing did a really good uh really really good card to close out their end of an era for the boxing year of 2023 when they uh come to an end. So I think it's pretty cool to have Jose Benavidez and David Benavidez, the two brothers on the same card. Obviously Jose Benavidez being the older brother, but nonetheless I think that's pretty cool. So this will be the co-main event Jamal, Jamal Charlo versus Jose Benavidez taking place in the sport of boxing this co-main event card. And I think something that needs to be addressed is I I don't I don't like the fact that Jamal Charlo will not be defending his WBC title against Jose Benavidez. This fight will be at a catchweight fight at 163 pounds. Well, it was supposed to be at 163 pounds until today's weigh-in when Jamal Charlo missed weight, not once, but twice. He missed weight and weighed in the heavier three pounds over in the second weigh-in. That is insane, and hats off to Jose Benavidez and his whole team for still wanting to fight Jamal Charles. I'm being very unprofessional. He's been around this, but he's been around the sport for long enough to know you cannot miss weight like this and weigh three pounds over the next weigh-in opportunity that you get. That's very unacceptable. I, I don't know what Jamal Charlo is doing, but I hope he gets it together for Saturday night. But something that mind is mind blowing to me. How the hell is Jamal Charlo still the WBC champion in the middleweight division? I mean, he has not defended this title for the last 885 days. That's two years and five months since the last time Jamal Charlo has defended that WBC middleweight title in the sport of boxing. How is it fair that Devin the Dream Haney, who once was undisputed at the 135-pound division, now is the unified champion, which, of course, Stevenson winning that title. How was How is it fair that... Jamal Charlo was stripped of this title and has not defended it for the last 885 days. But Devin Haney goes up and wait one time to fight Regis Progress, and he already defended the WBC title earlier this year against Vasily Lomachenko. But Devin Haney, an active boxer, gets stripped of the WBC title. But a man that has not been in the boxing ring for the last two years and five months is stripped of his title, or has not been stripped of this title. I'm not understanding how this is working in the sport of boxing. But Nonetheless, this is the storylines heading into this fight. You have Jamal Charlo, who is returning to the ring for the first time in two years. Will ring rust play a factor? I just said he hasn't been in the ring for the last two years and five months. Will that play a factor in this fight tomorrow night against Jose Benavidez? Then you have Jose Benavidez. He finds himself on a big time platform again. Lost the big, the first big opportunity that he had in his boxing career against Terrence Crawford. He lost that fight and got knocked out against Terrence Crawford. And then last year, he had a big opportunity again on a big time stage and a big time platform. He fumbled that opportunity, losing against Danny Garcia in the past. So he's lost two big fights that he's been presented in his boxing career. Can he finally win the big one tomorrow night against Jamal Charlo? So, my tale of the tape for this fight, Jamal. The hitman Charlo is 32 and 0. He has 22 knockouts to his resume. He's the WBC middleweight champion. He currently stands at six foot one and has a reach advantage of 73 inches. Then you have Jose Benavidez. He's currently 28 and 2. He has 19 knockouts to his resume, stands at five foot ten, and has a reach advantage of 71 inches. So obviously the height and the reach advantage goes in the favor of Jamal Charlo heading into this fight for tomorrow night. But with that being said, I smell I smell upset on the horizon. I have Jose Benavidez winning this fight. I don't know how he's going to win this fight. I don't know if it's going to be by knockout, decision, judges' decision. I don't know. But I feel like Jose Benavidez is in line to pull up a huge upset against Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo 
after the fact that he missed weight not once but twice today shows to me that he might not be in that might that right mind state to go in there and be victorious in your return to the boxing ring i looked at him in the weigh-ins today he did not look focused he did not look ready he did not really look in shape to me like jose benavidez looked like he was in shape in tip-top shape ready for war i think he's going to surprise a lot of people tomorrow night in the sport of boxing and I think he's going to pull off the upset. It's very unfortunate that this fight, that he's going to be, he's already the underdog, but he already, Jamal Charlo is going to have a way bigger advantage coming into this fight over 166 pounds and more. And Jose Benavidez did everything he could to make weight, making weight at 161 pounds a day. I don't think that's going to matter. I think Jose Benavidez is going to have that dog in him. Something that Jamal Charlo, to me right now, does not have in him as he's going through a lot of things in his life. I like Jose Benavidez pulling off the upset victory tomorrow night in the co-main event of Dave Benavidez versus Demetrius Andrade. But that is my fight prediction for Jamal Charlo and Jose Benavidez tomorrow in the co-main event taking place in the sport of boxing.